standing in the door, I could see the lights on the drop zone. And I had to assume that was our drop zone way in the, ahead of us. And uh, so that uh, we had, had the red light, I had everybody standing up, ready to jump. So when the plane started to get hit, and suddenly the pilot gives me the green light, I'm out the door immediately. Got such an opening blast from the, the opening shot from the prop blast that it broke his chin strap that we had on his helmet liner. And, and uh, that's when I lost this famous leg bag that everybody talks about just from the shock of the opening. Uh, it just flew right off my foot. We came from the sky, we hit, and in any direction you went, there would be enemy. You knew it. And uh, that was all part of uh, what you accepted. How do you prepare yourself? Mentally, each man must do that himself. Each man must prepare himself mentally to, uh, to make that jump. In the back of your mind, you 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 know you you wonder what's going to happen and all that. You know you uh, you've been trained and trained and trained and what your what your job is going to be, and what you're supposed to do, and uh, you, oh, that's what you got to think about. You know, whether, and we lost a lot of people that night, but uh, you try to put it all out of your mind. the Navy. The landings have started. Let's go. Let's move it out. Right on time. Through the gates of hell, as we may cut away to heaven, through the Nazi lines. Viva Victoria! Oh, yes, now you're ready to strike the grace of the rain.
kids had the whole life ahead of them. They're not going to walk their daughter down the aisle when she gets married. They're not going to hold that baby, their grandchild in their arms for the first time. But they gave their life for their country. Three men got off the boat and made the beach, and they were cut down immediately. Then the bullets started coming into the boat, and we lost about 14 or 15 men from the machine guns. It was a bloodbath. He fought for 18 hours that day. The kid was two feet away from me, was not so lucky. The machine gun took his helmet off and part of his head. He was crying. Help me. Help me. And he fell on my feet. I couldn't help him. I had no morphine. I couldn't even help myself. How could I help him? I didn't know what to do. So I started to pray. And I think the prayers calmed him down a little bit. But he's on my feet. And he's crying, help me. He's crying, Mama. So I reached down and I touched his hand. I didn't want to die alone. He squeezed my hand and he died.